filament tracer allows the creation, visualization, editing, and analysis of neuron or other filament like structures in 2D and 3D images. This tutorial is focused on automatic dendrite and spine detection. The demo image is the pyramidal cell. The image shows a hippocampus pyramidal cell in an organotypic cell culture. In this example, we shall first change the color of the display. In the Edit menu, select the Show Display Adjustment option. Click on Channel 1 to open the color selection. In the color table, select and adjust the color and click on OK. This is the result in the viewing area. We'll now start the filament creation wizard. Clicking on the button Filament creates a new object, Filament, in the object list. The object list is automatically updated. In the Object Properties area, the filament creation wizard appears automatically. Select AutoPath as the algorithm setting. Place a check mark in the box calculate the diameter of the filament from the image. In this example, we'll process the whole image. The concept of region of interest will be covered in subsequent tutorials. Begin by clicking on Next. In the step Dendrite Points Diameter, you define the channel sources and diameters for the dendrite. For the source channel, select Channel 1. To estimate the value of the dendrite starting point, it is recommended to use the largest dendrite diameter. The dendrite diameter can be quickly measured by the slice mode. In this example, enter the value 12 into the starting point field. Set the value of the dendrite seed point diameter to 1 to match the value of the smallest dendrite diameter. Click on Next. The dendrite starting point and the seed points are detected. The detected points can then be classified. Thresholds are set for the dendrite starting point and seed points, either manually or automatically. For the dendrite starting point, select the automatic option for both the higher and lower threshold. For the threshold for the dendrite seed point, Select the Manual option. To change the threshold value, click on the histogram and drag the yellow line. The number of seed points increases or decreases in accordance with changing the threshold values. The effect of the changes can at once be seen in the viewing area. For the threshold for the dendrite seed point, set the value to 20. At this point, you can manually add or delete dendrite seed points. To add dendrite start or seed points manually, first change the pointer mode from Navigate to Select. To add seed points, press Shift and left click at the necessary location. To add the dendrite starting point, press Shift and right click. In this example, however, no points need adding, so delete, again using Shift plus left click. Finally, in the Creation Wizard, select the option Remove Seed Point Around Starting Point. This option removes all seed points located within the radius of the sphere centered on the starting point. The radius of the sphere is defined by the value input for diameter of the sphere region. Set this value to 24. Click on Next. The detected points are automatically connected with lines following the image intensity. In the viewing area, a dendrite threshold preview is displayed in grey. This step allows you to adjust the threshold value for the dendrite diameter. The threshold value can be adjusted. 
a real-time preview is provided to visualize the change of the dendrite diameter. Accept the automatically calculated values by clicking on the A button. In this step, you can also specify how the dendrite diameters are calculated from the image. To calculate the dendrite diameter, select the approximate circle of cross-section area. Click on Next. In the Creation Wizard, the dendrite and the spine detection are separate, allowing a more sensitive spine detection. In this example, we will detect the spines, so select the Detect Spine box. The source channel for spine detection is by default the same as for the dendrite, channel 1. The spine seed point diameter is set to 0 0.455 and the maximum length to 4. Select the option Allow Branch Spines and click on Next. Now you can classify the spine points. The detected spine seed points and the 3D original data are displayed simultaneously. Again, the threshold can be adjusted by moving the line in the histogram. Set the threshold for the spine seed point to 20. Click on Next. In the next step, you can adjust the threshold value for the spine diameter. A real-time preview is provided to visualize the change of the diameter. In this example, Accept the automatically calculated values for the threshold. You can now specify how the spine diameters are calculated. As the algorithm for calculating spine diameter, select the approximate circle of cross section area. Click on Finish. This is the result in the viewing area, with the dendrite displayed in red and the spines blue. In the object list, uncheck the box for the volume. Now, only the filament object is visible. At this point, it is possible to export the filament object to MATLAB and use a range of Imaris XT extensions available for Filament Tracer. Please note that the parameters used are specific for this data set. Your own data set will require different parameters. We would recommend watching the next Imaris video tutorials to learn about alternative tracing methods, visualization styles, statistical tools, plus other practical features offered by Imaris Filament Tracer. Thank you for watching this video.